So this flax oil has now been sitting for about 20 days. It's lightened up quite a bit. And I'm gonna try and filter out the uh, psyllium husk right now. It's definitely changed in color quite a bit. the psyllium husk. So I'm just going to let that drip a little bit so I can salvage some oil. It's a lot clearer than what I've started with. That's what we started with. It's about as clear as my sand washed oil, but I'm going to put it back in the window and see if I can make it a bit clearer in the sun. I'm going to take some of this cheesecloth, not very much, just a little strip. I'm going to ball that in here in this funnel. Actually, I got way too much. some cheesecloth into this funnel. Let's see if I can get this a bit clearer here. That's going to take a while. That's the psyllium husk with the oil. Kind of kind of like feels like when you put sugar in oil. I don't know what it tastes like. It's crunchy. Mm. Tastes like something came out of the deep fryer. Gross. Well, I'm going to filter all this through the cheesecloth. I'm going to discard this and I'm going to put it back in the window for another week or so. <coughs> There's the flax oil as it comes out of the bottle. This is some sand wash stuff I did before. This was 20 days with the pump and the psyllium husk. And this is 30 days. Still looks a little cloudy and a little green, so I don't know if I got all the mucilage out of it. Tried putting the oil on a white piece of aluminum, but it just slid everywhere. So I need to this guy. As you can see, that's what it looks like from the new bottle. This has been sitting about a month here. It's still liquid sand washed, the 20 day and the 30 day are all kind of jelly. The 30 day is actually a bit more, has a bit more viscosity than the 20 day. But I think 20 days is all you would really need. That's mineral oil just to show what clear looks like. These are a bit more yellow than I had hoped. That's a piece of maple with the various finishes. Uh, I can't really see any color difference. The lighting's bad here, but there's really no color difference between the different oils when it's on the maple. There's a crab apple ladle that's been uh, finished with the oil and allowed to cure for a couple weeks. pretty much beads right off it. And that's a piece of crab apple that's been finished with the oil but then used heavily probably for about 20 washes. The water still beads but it 
leaves a little behind. Wipes off pretty easy. Whoops. 